everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer, and a very warm welcome to my channel. Um, today uh, we have a finish for you, and uh, this is an absolutely beautiful uh, bee clock. Um, this was sent to me as part of a PR package from New Craft Day, and yeah, it didn't take that long to make up actually, only about a couple of hours. Um, can you hear that? That's a little motor turning the, the hand round. So it's not a tick-tock clock, but it's not silent either. You can hear that little buzz of the hands turning around with the second hand. Um, so yeah, <laughs> might take a little bit of getting used to. It's gonna go, gonna go in my spare room anyway, so I'm not gonna really hear it. Um, okay, so thoughts. Um, Yes, it worked up really well. It was very, very simple to put together. I decided not to put it together on camera because uh, if, you, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that me putting things together on camera, um, yeah, it's not really a marriage made in heaven, is it? So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I assembled it off camera, but it was a very, very easy. You'll see at the back there, it runs by a double E battery. Um, I have had this going now for um, probably about 20 minutes. Um, it is starting to run a little bit fast, um, but you know, it, you know, it is kind of keeping time. So if, if a little bit on the fast side, um, we'll keep an eye on it over the next little while and, and see how the time keeps. Um, let's uh get down to this sort of like nitty gritty of it um if you have seen the unboxing which i will link at the end of the video um you'll see that in the clock assembly there were these kind of little strips of paper and i wasn't really too sure what they were and i just put them to the side actually it turns out it was bits of double-sided tape so that you could actually tape the the diamond painted section to the plastic casing of the clock so that keeps everything nice and flat down so i think that's a really nice touch to have that in there as part of the kit um the bit that was diamond painting was kind of like a card a card you know thin card it's not canvas um drills you know fantastic quality um some of them were a little bit dusty um but you know they cleaned up fine um i haven't got plenty left over so i mean here's i just worked straight out the bags on this one um but yeah i mean as you can see look at that oops that's gonna cut in the glare there um uh, there are plenty of uh drills left over i mean look at all those little stars there's tons of them as well as ABs, maybe not quite so many of the dark ones, but look at those light blues. There's loads of them left. Loads of these wee teardrops. So yeah, it's you know absolutely fantastic. Well more than enough. Uh, look at all these that are left. <laughs> well more than enough to actually do the project. So we'll put those away um, into my uh, stash of uh, spare special shapes, which is. Kind of going out of control at the moment i think i need to see a bit a different way or expanding the way i organize them um so just a couple of things uh the uh extra the clock assembly itself the hand assembly was very easy to put put on um i don't know how well you can see that there let me lift it up so with our hand on the bottom uh, slots into sort of like quite a wide bit of plastic or a, you know plastic holder um, the minute hand that's narrower plastic holder and then the second hand on the top just uh, sort of like slots in a little hole I did have to sort of like bend them slightly because you know they were they were kind of like at, at an angle so I had to kind of straighten them a little bit particularly the hour hand make sure it wasn't catching on the gems underneath um, the piece of acrylic here, um, again, it was a bit bowed. So the way I've done it is I've done it so that they kind of bows out the way slightly, but I think it's going to calm down a little bit now. Um, at the unbagging, um, I did notice that there was a slight scratch in the acrylic, which I've actually put on the inside as well. Um, it's You can't see it. 
it's right on top of the clock assembly you can't see it at all so that's not a bother and uh, yeah this slotted together really well it's very lightweight clock kind of similar in weight to sort of like you know you know those wall clocks that you can get from you know sort of like basically home stores you know that you know that cost maybe so like five six pounds it's that kind of weight so very light and uh yeah got a bit on the back you can oops you can hang it up but yeah it's very pleased so this has been going for another few minutes uh, while i've been chatting away there it is six minutes past eight and yeah that kind of looks like six minutes past eight there well obviously um it doesn't have any numbers i think these are slightly more decorative than they are functional although you can use them to tell the time um yeah but uh, yeah very pleased with this really liked it um can i just uh say one uh, big thank you to new crafty because i said this product was part of a pr package and um yeah thank you very very much for watching I will link the clock down below um, there I have got several styles so like if you like it and you're not that keen on bees they have other things there as well like there's fish and there's a jackalope um, there's a bunny rabbit um, yeah so yeah there's two or three different styles for you to have a look at but yeah thank you uh, very much for watching this review it's a very quick one um, but I did think it was quite nice to actually show you what it looked like when it was made up and yeah if you liked what you'd seen today please hit the thumbs up button and if you would like to subscribe and you haven't done so already if you could please hit the subscribe button as well and you can see all the lovely things that will be coming up later in my channel so yeah thanks very much for watching once again and uh, I'll see you all in my next video cheerio guys